Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Savannah. We want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Bro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic, debates, and entertainment. And we give you guys a fresh perspective on things uh, and how we see it. Now, today we have a pretty serious show for you guys. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want today's full show before it comes out, it is streaming for free on Apple Podcasts. We have that pinned in the comment section. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, my name is Charles Tabanzi. My handle is C-T-A-B-A-N-Z. And also, if you want to follow the channel on Instagram, same name as the channel Dreamers Pro. Let me get into this topic here. This is a continuation of some of my thoughts <sighs> over the weekend discussing this scandal surrounding josh giddy i'm gonna cut to the quick i'm gonna get to the point immediately listen um i'm someone that is that that really believes that malika andrews has it out number one for men but especially black men that's what i believe and a lot of people believe that um and and the most annoying part is that malika andrews is a black woman this is the part that kills me this is the this is the this is the confounding part of it all this is the part that i just don't understand you have this fetish for attacking men that look like you. It's unreal to me. I don't understand what that says about a person that loves to go after people that look like them. That means there's some serious issues lying within. Serious. And we can bring up case after case after case after case. This um, Josh Giddy situation is quite messy. It's quite messy. And what we've noticed is whenever there are issues surrounding black men, Malika Andrews is always the first one to jump to the front of the line to start pointing fingers for those of you who don't remember if you think back well and, and, and you recollect properly Ime Odoke at one point used to be working for the Boston Celtics then a scandal broke out a scandal broke out involving Ime Odoka and a staff member with the Boston Celtics and Malika Andrews jumps on television on Stephen A. Smith's show after she attended a press conference with the Boston Celtics and tried to scold Stephen A. Smith for daring, daring to say that the Boston Celtics could, should have kept that information in the house. For those of you who don't remember, I want to play a quick soundbite of Malika Andrews going off on Stephen A. Smith on his own show to the point where he had to stop her and check on her show. To, uh, on his show, take a listen to that. There, Stephen A. With all due respect, this is not about pointing the finger. Stop. What became apparent to me in this press conference is that we do not have all of the information here. And it was frustrating to me that the Celtics declined to elaborate or to give more specifics about what exactly the rule breaking was that led us to this point. So, so that I just want to get that out of the way first. But to answer your question, I, Molly, I think what stood ahead. out to me, I, I think what stood out to me is that Brad Stevens, he was upset. That's what stood out to me about what he termed uh, rampant Twitter uh, BS is the word that he used, that women were unfairly dragged into this within the Celtics organization. You could see that Brad Stevens was visibly upset about this. And I also found that to be gross and unnecessary, that folks were bringing in the names and the images of women that is just not a fact, that was purely speculation. And so to me, that is what stood out. But the Celtics as an organization could have done more. And short of doing more ahead of this yesterday, they could have owned that responsibility in this press conference. I understand that there were legal parameters that they had to operate within uh, for everybody involved. And I appreciate the fact that they brought in uh, outside counsel and did a thorough organization. And I think that that is something that was clearly uh, necessary in this situation. But the fact that it was able to go on all day, the fact that we are sitting here debating whether somebody else should have been suspended or not, we are not here, Stephen A., to further blame women. That is not why we are here. First of all, let me be very clear. I don't appreciate where you're going with that. I'm not blaming anybody but Ime Udoka. He deserves, the fact of the matter is I've said he deserved to be fired if they were going to fire him. If you're not going to fire him, then don't fire him. My issue is all of this being publicized. The point that I'm trying to make it's just you like you're not mentioning, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, I listened to you. 
You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It ain't happening. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I've already said he deserves to be fired or he deserves what to, to be there and handle it internally and privately. If you're not going to handle it privately, if you're going to publicize it in that fashion, then obviously it provokes everybody wanting to know, OK, well, who are the parties involved? When you have Amina Smith in Boston and other women pointing out the fact that there were women who were wrongly implicated in all of this, it's a disservice to them. I didn't come out with the report about a consensual relationship. I didn't come out with the report ahead of time leaking that we were they were going to suspend him for the year. They did that. And my point is, considering how pervasive this kind of stuff has 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 existed in professional sports for many years. My whole point is, is that, excuse me, make sure that you handle it in the same fashion it has always been handled. Now, that's just one example of Malika Andrews. Some people don't know the lengths at which Malika Andrews will go. It has nothing to do with even age. Malika Andrews, ha Malika Andrews has no shame. Okay, she will attack grown black men. She will tr she will attack young black men. I want to I want to give you guys another scenario of when she tried to bring up some unsavory information about Brandon Miller on NBA draft night, and she was called out for it uh, by the public, who said, "Why is Malika Andrews doing this?" For those of you who don't remember her going after Brandon Miller on draft night, I want to quickly play it for you. It's about a ten second soundbite. Take a listen to Malika Andrews going after Brandon Miller here, and it will continue on the show. Take a listen to that there. His name did surface in court testimony involving a case where his former teammate and another man, they've been indicted for capital murder in the fatal of 23-year-old Jamia Harris in January. The University of Alabama has described Miller as a cooperating witness. How is this factoring, if at all, into how teams are evaluating him? So you heard her there. Now, let me tell you guys what's interesting about this. Do you know that when, uh, do you know that at the time that she went after Brandon Miller, do you know that he was actually younger than Josh Giddy? Josh Giddy's 21 years old. Brandon Miller's 21 years old right now. Right now. They're roughly the same age. So going after young guys, she has no issue with it. And what we're asking is, where is Malika Andrews' voice on this particular situation? Where is it? Where is it? Where is this thing of going on people's show, cutting them off, to express your displeasure with a situation that, oh, by the way, involves a minor? which could have some legal ramifications, which are ramifications that have absolutely, that there were nothing to like the situation that Ime Odoka was on, but she felt so comfortable to convict them in a public forum when she didn't have the facts. She automatically assumed that it was the big black, black guy at the office that was pressuring that woman to go into a relationship with him when we, now found, when we later found out that it was a consensual relationship. So for her to have any position at all that was a neutral, was already a negative slant towards black men, which is her MO, and I'm calling her out on it. I'm calling you, I'm calling you out on it. I'm a black man, I'm and I'm offended by your behavior. I am. And what we're looking for is the same energy. The same energy. This is what I'm looking for. You can't be mute on this particular issue. Go post on your Instagram. Go do something. Do something. Say something. Go after, go after him the same way you went after these, uh, 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 th th these other figures. This is what I'm looking for. And I'm going to be waiting to see it. Otherwise, I'm going to call you out. Because otherwise, if you don't do it and another situation comes up and it involves a black guy, nobody should, nobody should listen to a single word coming out of Malika Andrews' mouth. Because when Stephen A. Smith went on Paul George's show and he was defending Malika Andrews, he's like, if he does, she doesn't bring up that, if she doesn't ask the right question, she doesn't bring up that point, she loses that job. Because if you're up there, you're not going to bring it up. Then why bring it up? Okay, fantastic. We grant you that. She's doing her job. Do your job now. You didn't do it for Dana White. We know that. When he hit his wife. You didn't do, for, you didn't, you didn't do that. You didn't do it for, 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 for uh, uh, Brett Favre. You didn't do it then. Do it now. Because this is an NBA mat, uh, an NBA-related issue. Do it now. And we're going to be waiting. And if you don't do it, I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to bring it up and, and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it because we don't see that same consistency here. To me, it's absolutely disgusting that this girl has a fetish for going after black men. And I'm sick of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Malik. I I'm sick of it. I'm a black guy and I like the way I look and I, I like myself. I like my dad. I like my brother. I like my cousins. And I'm sick of seeing people that look like us going after us on television. 
because they got some kind of sick fetish. So I'm calling you out on it. We need to hear your piece on this. We need to I, we need to hear your position on this. I'm waiting for it. I'll be on the lookout for that. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And we catch you guys on the next show. Peace.